Dear learners and viewers, how are you? Welcome to online class today. I am with you with an another lecture and this lecture will help you to learn a story and write a story. Dear learners, again I welcome you to my class. Dear learners, welcome to my online class. Before doing that, I am giving my identity. This is my identity. I am Arif Chaman Arif, lecturer of English, Duikha Adarsho Degree College, Hadibanda Lal Manirhat. Dear learners, look at the picture. English, this is the class made for class 11, English first paper. Dear learners, just wait and see, look at the following pictures and catch about the pictures. What you see in the picture, dear learners? This is the bear, and two friends were passing through a forest. Okay. The bear seems to attack a friend, and one friend climbed up a tree. Dear learners, look at them at the pictures. One friend is looking at the friend lying on the grass, and the bear is. Um, about to turn back. Okay, dear learners, the picture will give you an idea. The idea, the two friends and the peers. You have really guessed the story is about the two friends and the peer. Dear learners, listen. Completing story. After the lessons, Yes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Learning outcomes. After reading this lesson, students will be able to know the benefit of reading story, ask and answer the questions, learn how to write a story. This is your benefit. Okay, dear learners, let us enjoy the class. There were two friends. The leap in a certain village. One day they were passing through a jungle. They promised that they would help each other at the time of danger. Suddenly they saw a bear coming towards them. Both of them got afraid. Tellers, one of them knew how to climb up a tree. So he climbed up a nearby tree without thinking about his friend. Okay, the other was pretty and didn't know how to climb up a tree. Dear learners, but he knew that a bear does not touch a dead body. So he fell flat on the ground like a dead person and stopped breathing. The bear came near him, smelled him all over the body and thought him to be a dead man. So without touching him, it went away slowly and gently. Dear learners, what you guessed? The two the friend who was on the tree saw everything. He got down from the tree, went to his friend and asked eagerly, Oh dear, what did the bear whisper to your ear? The other friend said, The bear advised me not to trust a friend who leaves his friend alone in time of danger. Dear learners, you have realized the story. Now to the individual one. Where did the two friends live? Number two, what did they promise? Number three, what did they say? Number four, what did a friend do? Number five, what did an other man or other friend do? Number six, what did the bear do? Dear learners, if you practice the questions, you will have get an idea to write the story. Now, 
there is a homework for you. Write a story from your own idea. Dear learners, we have come to the next part of our story and the last part of our story. And dear learners, do you think this story can teach you many things? From the story, you can learn something too. Up to this, today I am going to finish my lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody.